In the vast ocean of darkness, stars flicker like lighthouses, guiding lost souls. But have you ever wondered what makes them shine so brilliantly? As we embark on this cosmic journey, let's take a moment to appreciate the universe in all its grandeur. A boundless expanse teeming with countless stars, each a world of its own. Some twinkle in the distance, others blaze with a radiant light that pierces through the darkness. Their mesmerizing beauty has ignited countless tales, sparked numerous explorations and given birth to an array of mysteries. Yet behind this enchanting spectacle lies a profound secret. A secret that unveils the very essence of life, matter and energy. A secret that has been the key to our understanding of the universe and our place within it. These celestial beings, these stars, are not just distant points of light. They are cosmic factories churning out elements, radiating energy and sculpting the fabric of the cosmos. Each one is a testament to the extraordinary processes that govern the universe. Each one a beacon of the unfathomable forces at play in the cosmic theater. Our journey begins with star formation, a process as fascinating as it is complex, a process that takes us deep into the heart of the cosmos where the raw materials of the universe are molded into these celestial luminaries. Imagine, if you will, vast clouds of gas and dust floating in the cosmic ocean. These are the nurseries of stars the birthplaces of these brilliant celestial objects. Within these clouds, a dance of physics and chemistry takes place, giving rise to a spectacle of creation that has been ongoing for billions of years. The birth of a star, a process so intricate and yet so fundamental that it shapes the universe as we know it. This celestial alchemy, this cosmic dance of creation is what breathes life into the universe. It is what makes the cosmos a place of wonder, a place of discovery, a place of endless possibilities. These radiant celestial bodies are born in a spectacular process that is nothing short of a cosmic miracle. Every star begins its journey in a humble, dense cloud of gas and dust known as a nebula. This nebula, a celestial nursery if you will, is the cradle from which stars are born. It's a place where the elements of the cosmos coalesce into something truly spectacular. But how does this transformation occur? It all begins with the universal force of gravity. This force which binds us to the Earth and keeps our planet in its celestial path also has the power to pull together the particles of a nebula. Gradually, over the course of hundreds of thousands of years, these particles begin to clump together, forming a dense core in the heart of the nebula. As these particles come together, they form what is known as a protostar. This is the embryonic stage of a star's life a phase filled with potential and promise. It's a time of accretion, a process where particles of gas and dust are drawn into the protostar, causing it to grow in size and mass. But this growth is not without consequences. As more and more particles are drawn into the protostar, the pressure at its core intensifies. This compression causes the temperature to rise, leading to a series of complex reactions. In time, the protostar becomes so dense and hot that atoms begin to collide with each other at high speeds. These collisions are so powerful that they cause the atoms to break apart and then recombine in new ways. This process, known as nuclear fusion, is the spark that will eventually ignite the protostar into a full-fledged star. But the birth of a star is not an event, it's a process a process that takes millions of years to complete. It's a testament to the patience and persistence of the cosmos, a journey from a simple cloud of gas and dust to a shining beacon in the night sky. As the protostar continues to grow and compact, a dramatic transformation takes place. The heart of a star is a furnace, fueled by the most potent energy source known to us, nuclear fusion. Now, let's take a journey to the very core of a star, where temperatures reach millions of degrees and pressures are unimaginably intense. Here, the process of nuclear fusion begins. It's a dance of atomic proportions, a ballet of protons and electrons under the intense heat and pressure of a star's heart. In this cosmic crucible, hydrogen atoms, the simplest and most abundant element in the universe, are stripped of their electrons, leaving bare protons at the mercy of the extreme conditions. These protons, positively charged and usually resistant to each other, are forced together with such intensity that they overcome their natural repulsion. This union forms a heavier atom, helium, but the mass of this helium atom is slightly less than the sum of the two hydrogen atoms that formed it. This missing mass hasn't vanished into thin air. 
No, it has been converted into energy as dictated by Einstein's famous equation E to mc2. The energy released in this process is colossal. To give you an idea of its scale, consider that a single gram of hydrogen undergoing fusion releases energy equivalent to burning 8,000 gallons of gasoline. It's an explosion of power, a burst of light and heat that radiates outward from the star's core. This outward pressure counteracts the immense gravitational pull trying to collapse the star inwards. It's a delicate balance, a cosmic tug of war, with the energy from fusion pushing outwards and gravity relentlessly pulling inwards. The result? A star that maintains its shape, neither exploding in a supernova nor collapsing into a black hole. This equilibrium, this delicate dance of forces, is what allows a star to shine for billions of years. And just like that, a star is born, shining brightly against the cosmic darkness. Stars, much like living beings, have a life cycle, a birth, a lifespan, and an eventual death. As intriguing as it sounds, the lifespan of a star is a cosmic ballet of energy and transformation. The duration of a star's existence, its lifespan, is dictated by its mass. The larger the mass, the shorter the lifespan, contrary to what one might intuitively think. Stars are the nuclear powerhouses of the universe, churning out energy by fusing hydrogen into helium in their cores. This process, known as nuclear fusion, is what keeps a star shining brightly for billions of years. But nothing lasts forever, not even the colossal reservoirs of hydrogen fuel within a star. When a star exhausts its hydrogen fuel, it's not the end. Rather, it's the beginning of a series of spectacular transformations. The star swells into a red giant, its outer layers expanding while the core contracts. For a moment in cosmic time, the star appears brighter and larger than ever before. But this grandeur is a sign of its approaching demise. In the heart of the red giant, helium atoms fuse to form carbon, and the cycle of nuclear fusion continues, albeit with heavier elements, yet each fusion cycle lasts less time than the previous one. From millions and billions of years when fusing hydrogen to mere thousands or even hundreds when fusing elements like silicon. Eventually the star can no longer sustain these fusion reactions. Its core collapses under its own gravity, triggering a cataclysmic explosion that outshines entire galaxies. A supernova. This dramatic end to a star's life is not just an end but a beginning as well. The remnants of the star, the stardust, are scattered across the universe seeding the cosmos with elements that may one day form new stars, new planets and perhaps new life. The death of a star is as spectacular as its birth, often resulting in a supernova explosion scattering stardust across the universe. And so the cosmic dance of birth, life and death continues in an endless cycle of creation and destruction. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, has been creating stars for billions of years. But what if we could recreate this process on a smaller scale? This question leads us to the concept of nuclear fusion, a process that powers the sun and the stars. It's an incredibly powerful force, one that we humans have dreamt of harnessing for energy. Now imagine for a moment a world where our energy needs are met not by burning finite fossil fuels, but by replicating the very process that illuminates the night sky. Nuclear fusion is a process where two light atomic nuclei combine to form a heavier nucleus. This process releases massive amounts of energy, far more than our current nuclear power plants, which rely on nuclear fission, the splitting of heavy atomic nuclei. The potential benefits are staggering. It's a clean source of energy, producing no greenhouse gases or long-lived radioactive waste. It uses isotopes of hydrogen, which are plentiful in the sea, as fuel. Hence, fusion could provide a virtually unlimited supply of energy. However, achieving nuclear fusion is not a walk in the park. The challenge lies in creating and maintaining the conditions necessary for this process to occur. It requires temperatures of millions of degrees, much hotter than the core of the sun. Containing this reaction is another hurdle. No material could withstand such intense heat. The most promising solution to date involves using magnetic fields to suspend the hot plasma, but it's a complex and daunting task. Despite these challenges, scientists worldwide are undeterred. They're striving to unlock the secrets of nuclear fusion, working tirelessly on projects like ITER in France and SPARC in the United States. These endeavors represent humanity's audacious attempt to capture a star in a bottle.
Could we, a tiny speck in the grand scheme of the universe, master the cosmic alchemy of starlight? The answer to that question might just redefine our future.